It's hello everyone. Uh, if you're new here, my name is Mohammed. We continue our training and preparation for Elastic Certified Engineer exam. And today, with the last topic, we will see how we automate a snapshot with the snapshot lifecycle management. All right. So we go to Elastic. Uh, before we jump, let's me uh, uh, explain it quickly. So what we did last time is we configure the uh, the snapshot repository, right? And we can take the snapshot manually. Now with SLM or snapshot, snapshot lifecycle management is a way to take snapshot automatically. Mean you don't need to go every day or every night or whatever, every week and you take a snapshot manually. Uh, with the SLM, you can configure the snapshots uh, to take wherever indices you want and whenever you want, right? So let's jump to uh, stack management from here then snapshot so here we have our snapshot so here we have our policy we will create the policy and we call it for example daily snap right and here also we give it daily snap now the repository i will i have only one if you have multiple then you can choose and here the the cron or here the uh, the schedule so if you want to run it every hour, every week, every month, it's depend on your use case, it's depend on uh, whatever you want to implement. Usually we go with the daily and here it can be midnight, it's kind of 1 a.m., 2 p.m., whatever like you choose, right? And here the important thing. So if you enable this one, mean you will take the snapshot for everything, right? It's going to include all, this, all the indices, uh, whatever is uh, your indices or system indices. It will um, it will take a snapshot uh, every day at midnight or 1 a.m. for all the indices. Now let's imagine you have a specific indices. You don't you don't need all the data. You need just the specific indices. In this case, you can uh, you can select one by one, right? Or you can select everything and you just pick, for example, the indices that you need, right? So it's like this. Another important thing is here, um, say global uh, global state is by default is enabled and this will help you, let's say for a reason or another, you lost this cluster, right? And or you want to restore the data or you want to restore a cluster and you want like to have the same data and the same configuration in this cluster. In this case, you, you have to enable this one and you click next. Here also, the retention for how long you want to keep this a snapshot, right? You want to keep it uh, for three months, six months, one year, ten months. So here you you specify it by uh, by days, or you can, uh, if it is by, by hours or minutes, you can also uh, you you can also. There is also uh, here the snapshots to retain was the minimum and the maximum uh, number of snapshots you want to store. Uh, you want just to keep the last 10 snapshots or 20 or 50. So here you can also specify the number of the uh, snapshot that you want to uh, uh, retain or to keep uh, in your uh, uh, S3 bucket or on your uh, uh, in your uh, snapshot repository. And here you have the review uh, of the policy. This is what you configure, the name, uh, the repository and the, the schedule all the details that you put if you want to see the request so also you can take it from here if you want to copy it and you go to dev tools and you continue then you can do that otherwise it's from here and you create the policy right uh, here we go now we have our our policy so so far we didn't use uh, or this our policy it didn't run any time if we want you can run it manually right on the policy so if you click again you see one of the snapshots is, is, is taken now. If we click it, we redirect you to the snapshot and say it's taking the snapshots. And this this is the snapshot is, is taking. This is the number of indices. This is the number of shards. And uh, this is the duration, right? Let's click again. Here we go. Now we have one snapshot. If we have a failure, right? If we have a deleted or a, a failure, you will be able to find it here in the uh, in the history. So if we come back here and we want to delete it, we come here to the policy. There we go. You'll find uh, the details. Let me just refresh here. 
yeah it's supposed to find the uh, um uh deleted one here but it's it's okay so this is how it uh, how it works this will uh, uh manage to create or take snapshot daily at 1 and uh, 1 a.m for the uh, indices that we that we uh, we specified if you want to modify it for sure you can uh, at any time you come to the uh, configuration here and you specify all other indices that you have then um, next next and you save the policy and here you have uh, this policy mm -hmm. with that being said we get to the end of this video and also the end of this uh, training uh, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section if you have any question with that being said i will see you in the next training